Um, something, you know, you mentioned the lack of direction with Red Sparrow. Uh, we also saw Thoroughbreds this weekend, and our boy Corey Finley seems to have really put his stamp on, on this film. Uh, talk to me about Thoroughbreds. What did you like? What didn't you like? A direction. I mean, he, I think there was this great camera work throughout Thoroughbreds, which was was so nice where it just kind of felt kind of blandly shot the way the three hunger games frankie lauren shot were so uh thoroughbreds was definitely had a more art art housey feel um but actually i think the comparisons going around about this are really uh really apt it's like a tarantino movie with wes anderson dialogue um because hmm. being compared to like heathers and the shining and stuff. but i mean it's a pretty simple concept it's about uh, two former best friends in their later high school years that reconnect and ultimately decide they're going to kill uh, one of the st- one of their uh, stepdads. But it's really about you know an emotional ocean. I thought the themes in this were awesome, and it's just so witty and so much dry humor. And I think Olivia Cook and Anya Taylor Joy are electric on screen, and so was Anton Yelkin. R.I.P. What'd you yeah. say? No, I, I agree with pretty much everything you said. When you talk about like the way it was shot, it really makes that huge house that Lily lives in uh, with Mark and her mom uh, feel like a tomb almost in a way like she's trapped in this huge space and she can like she can never get away from that that sound of the rowing machine, like this constant reminder. Um, I also felt like the way that uh, Finley used uh, the score in this, which kind of ranged from like African drums to like almost like Hitchcockian uh, strings was really yeah, uh, well cute. done yeah. um, to the point where I don't know if this is necessarily like a very like thrilling movie, but uh, I went with, with my girlfriend and she was like clutching my arm at points. I mean, there are some definitely some tense scenes, but it like creates this feel of like, this is a very like tense situation. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, uh, Taylor Joy and Olivia Cook are by far. Yeah, and all and like you said, uh, this is Anton Yelchin's second to last uh, movie. I think there's one more that'll be coming out. Um, but he was he was great in it too. And also mm-hmm. Paul Sparks, our guy from uh, House of Cards, he played a, a very convincing uh, shitty person as a, a horrible stepdad. So um, yeah, I think he he's officially that guy. School. You know, yeah, he's uh, a no a guy. He's in Waco as well. Burke. Yep. Yeah, no, he's a, he's definitely a great that guy. Um, yeah. Any other any other thoughts around Thoroughbreds? Um, definitely a very strong performance. I I don't think it will be a uh, a best of movie uh, at the end of the year, but definitely a memorable first performance uh, or first directorial debut for Finley. Finley, he was a. Uh, uh, a playwright so it was not like he was just some random guy but we'll feel like debut i think 40 for the two lead motel but not a lot of people saw that mm-hmm. and i can tell joy has been in a lot of stuff i hear first really big list i mean i feel like everyone involved wins and i mean anton yange that uh we didn't really, really see in uh star trek it's such a damn shame that plus because he's obviously such a great talent um but yeah, yeah. The, the feeling I'm happy i saw it yeah definitely and um you know i think i think it 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 misses it the only like critique i have of it is i think they they hinted at something deeper uh you know that to this whether what it means about mm-hmm. being like a psychopath or a sociopath or what it really means to be crazy. Maybe um, that it kind of misses the mark, right. but for all the really good things it did to, to kind of knock it on, not, I don't know, landing a, a huge, uh, huge question like that is a, a small, small uh, thing. So overall uh, really enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to more movies with uh, Anya and Olivia and more from Corey Finley as well.